Hi team, welcome to Inside the Movie Photographer with Jason Boland. Today I've got something a little bit different. Um, it's more technical aspect to help people in the same position as what I was when I was starting this YouTube channel just a week ago. Um, I first thought of doing this three to four weeks ago when things started to change with work. Now, I decided that um, I wanted to keep my creativity going and I wanted to entertain myself and I wanted to entertain you guys with some stories about my work as an on-set film photographer and also I wanted to introduce you to the members of the crew so that you could get to understand what everyone on a film set does. Now, the main aspect for me shooting this was that being a Nikon ambassador, I wanted to use my beautiful Nikons and the lenses so that I get this beautiful drift that we've got back here with focus. Um, it was an important thing. So you're probably here for the same reason as why I'm doing this is that you've had an Agato Cam Link or a Black Magic on back order now for weeks. They're sold out all around the world. You can't get them. Now, the camera links are HDMI based. Uh, so the quality is always going to be better than the system that we've got here now. Now, I've, as I said, I've been looking at systems for two or three weeks now and wasn't having too much luck. And then Julie and Karen from Nikon have posted this great little video on their page about, um, about a, a fix that they found for Ecamm. Now, as I'm using StreamYard, which is a browser-based studio, which is just fantastic. It's so easy to use and, you know, it's a pretty good look. Um, I needed a, I needed different settings and a different system. So I'm going to give you a really quick rundown of the easy way to set this up in a matter of minutes and you'll be using your DSLR as a webcam, the same as what I am now. First of all, you'll need a D6 or Z6 and a USB-C cable. Now this came with the camera, so it works and I tried it out. Now this is USB 3 and um, that has to go into your MacBook Pro or whatever you're using. For me, I'm a MacBook Pro, so I need to have uh, an adapter, which you can get easily. Now, first up, you have to um, download Camera Live and Camera Twist, and, uh, and I'll show you how to set them up. So you do have to do things in a bit of an order. Now, the first thing is um, plug your camera into your computer with the USB cable, um, and turn it on. Now, next, uh, launch camera live and click on when it comes. I'll bring it in here. And where are we? Camera live. Okay, so right. I don't need it that big. Okay, so here we have camera live. Now, Mine's already activated because I'm using it here, but it'll come up, it'll come up, you know, camera. Press on the camera here, then it'll go ready, and then it'll go active. I have had a little bit of um, bit jinxed every now and again, but um, you just command Q, get out of it. It's sweet. Um, I, uh, you know, there's not many, there's not really many issues, nothing that, Restarting the computer won't fix, but once it's going, it's a solid base and it doesn't drop out. Now, the next thing that we are going to do, once your camera is active, we will have to go to camera twist. Now, camera twist is over here. Right. Now, the important parts here is that you click on siphon. So that's basically giving this a passage to, giving your Nikon a, a passage to your web browser or your computer or, you know, your studio OBS or, you know, whichever. It doesn't work on Zoom, by the way. Um, Julie from Nikon says that it does work on previous um, software, but it doesn't work on current software. So, okay, so we click, click on Siphon up here, 
And then, I, as you see, I've already got my setups saved for my Z6 and Z7, and it'll come up with Siphon here. So then what we do, we come over to the box here, and it says, please select, and we select Camera Live. So basically, that really means whatever cam you've got in. In my case, it's Nikon Z6. So it, uh, so it comes up there. Now, the next part is very, very important. Um, and I spent nearly four hours yesterday trying to get this to work. And it was all because I did not have one little setting or two little settings, actually. Now, I'm going to make this big so that you can see it a little bit better. Whoops, that's me, wrong way. And here we go. Right, so what you need to change here is 30 frames per second. Change that to 30 frames. And um, this is what I didn't have yesterday when I was trying to figure this out. Now, the next thing is you have to click on custom and you've got all the different settings here but you want to go custom and you want to go 1920 by 1080 and now this is this is a tricky well not a tricky part but this is something to remember that you have to command q out of this and then relaunch it otherwise these settings here the 1920 by uh, 1080 will not remain active so there you go. Um, and then, basically, all you do is, let me just come out here. Um, can I use my screen? So, anyway, you come down to, let me, let me do this, stop screen, share screen, okay. That is not what I wanted to do, see? Now you're seeing how technical I am. So if I can get this to work, then you guys can. Anyway, we come in here and camera twist, go to camera. This is in um, StreamYard, I should say. And then you go to uh, camera and you select, as you can see, I've got my FaceTime camera and uh, webcam. Um, go to camera twist, which, as I said before, basically means your Nikon. D Z. What do I think? I'm begging for a D6. I can't wait for them to come out. My Z6 or Z7. So there you go. And then the highest definition, which is only 720p on here. And there you go. And then you um, get out of that, and then you can click back in, and you've got that that nice little look. So there is a couple of notes that I have, and. Um, and as I was saying, you know, this system is never going to be as good a quality as what you're going to get from a camera link. Um, a camera link runs HDMI, but this is a really good fix, and it's a free fix. So, team, that's how you turn your Nikon Z6 or Z7 into a webcam while you're uh, sitting around waiting for the post to turn up with your Elgato or your Blackmagic. Um, massive thanks to Julie and Karen for helping out with a fix for uh, Ecamm. Now I don't use Ecamm, so uh, I'm on StreamYard, which is why I had to change some settings and thought I'd just share it with you guys to streamline it and make it easy for you, um, as opposed to me sitting there for hours. Like I said, I'm not that technically minded. I can take a good photo, but uh, the rest of the stuff, I'll leave that to the experts. But um, thanks, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some use out of it ding, ding, the little bell thing, and give me a subscribe if you can, and um, peace out.